Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we will start creating our custom WordPress theme. In the previous videos, we have designed this complete website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So if you want to learn how to design this, you can watch my previous videos. I will leave the link in the description below. So first of all, let me show you the editor that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use the editor called Visual Studio Code. You can download it from this website over here and just click on this download button. It is completely free and it's an awesome code editor. So just go ahead and download this if you haven't already. Or you can also use any other code editor that you want. Now in the previous video, we learned how to install WordPress locally on our computer. So I have opened local on my computer. So this is the local site that we had created in the previous video. So we'll just start working on it. So just click on this site and click on start site. And then we'll go ahead and click on admin. Now we'll log in with uh, the ID and the password that we had provided when we created this site. So, so I will type admin as the username and the password. Now we can view our website by just clicking on view site over here. We'll just click on that. So here is our website. So it has already added a default theme in here. So we'll just go ahead and look at all the themes that we have. So we'll just go to appearances and click on themes. So these are the three different themes that are already available with WordPress. So, if we, so we'll just go ahead and change this theme to 2016 and we'll click on activate. We can see that the new theme is activated. We'll just click on visit site. And here is our new theme. So our goal is to create a new theme that will be displayed over here with all these themes. Now if you want to add a new post, go to posts and click on add post. And here you can give the title. So we'll say the first post by me. So we'll just type something over here. Now we will click on publish and if you go to the website and refresh it, we can see that the first post by me is printed over here. So in this way we can create a new post. Now we'll see how to add a new plugin to our website. So we'll go to plugins and click on add new. So these are all the plugins that are available. Contact form 7 is the plugin that we want to install. So here we can see the plugin and it has more than 1 million active installations. We'll just click on install and to activate the plugin you have to just click on activate. And the plugin has been activated. We can see the plugin over here. So this is how you add new plugins to your WordPress website. Now here are some of the settings for your website. So if you go to settings and click on general. Here we can change the name of our website and we can also change the tagline. We'll just type learn coding from scratch. So if you want you can just go ahead and check these uh, different settings and see what are the options available over there. Now we'll go to appearance and we'll click on themes. So now we want our custom theme to be displayed with all these three themes over here. So we'll go to local and here we will right click over here and click on show folder. So these are the two different local websites that we had created using local. Now we'll go to the folder called GT coding and in here we'll go to app and then we'll go to public and these are all the WordPress files that are necessary for our WordPress website. So the folder that we are going to be working in is called WP content. So we'll double click on this folder and here there are a lot of different folders and all our themes are going to stay in this folder called themes. So we'll just go into themes folder. Here we can see our three themes that we have in our WordPress website. So let's just go into one of these themes. So I'll just go into 2017. 
so these are all the files in our theme so if you want you can just go ahead and open some of these files and uh, see how the code is written inside and you'll get a basic idea of how the themes are written but I'm just gonna go to the themes folder and here we'll create a new folder called GT coding and this is our custom theme so now we'll go to the WordPress dashboard and if we refresh this page we can see that uh, it says that there are some broken themes and uh, we have the name of the folder and we can see that the style sheet is missing so whenever we create a theme in WordPress we have to have a file called style.css so we'll go to our folder so here we'll go ahead and create a new file and we will name it style.css so now I will open this folder in Visual Studio Code so here we have opened our project in Visual Studio Code so I'll just go to style.css now style.css file is a special file for WordPress because we can add some information about our theme in this file so we'll just go ahead and create a new comment and here we will type theme name and we'll name the theme as GT coding and then we'll type author and here you can type your name and you can also have a author URI and then you can give the description for your theme and then you can also type the version number of your theme so I'll just type 1.0 so these are some of the basic information that we can add in our style.css file and it will be displayed on our theme. So now we'll go ahead and create a new file called index.php and here we'll just give a heading and we'll say hi from index.php. So now we will go to our list of themes and I'll just refresh this page. And here we can see our theme is displayed over here. If we we'll just click on this theme details button, we can see we have the name of our theme, the version number of our theme, the description and the author name. And it also has the link of the author website. So now we need to have a thumbnail for our theme. To have a thumbnail for your theme, you have to have a file called screenshot.png in your folder. And that file will act as the thumbnail. So I have already created a file called screenshot.png. I'll just paste it in my folder. So now if we we'll go to the list of our themes and if I refresh this page, we can see that the thumbnail of our theme is visible over here. So if you want to activate this theme, just click on activate. Now if we'll go to our website and if we'll just refresh, here we can see the content from our index.php file is displayed over here. So that's basically it for this video. In this video we have just created the bare minimum files for our uh, WordPress theme. So if you like this video please click on the like button and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. and. Uh, and subscribe to this channel to get the notification of the upcoming videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.